My window, it's noisy out there. Uh, okay. Yeah, is it the city of Vancouver? It is. I have some issues at 40 East Hastings. How are we supposed to get, have wheelchair access when there's a market on our street with drug addicts? It is filled. Now, what I'm going to do with my little videos is send them to every politician and saying, we're flu ready. Are you flu ready like us? And around the world. I am so upset that I could barely take my stroller out, which is a lot narrower than a wheelchair access that the people that live here have wheelchairs. You can't go down the street. Oh, very dangerous going down the street. Our staff won't even come out of their office because they created such a dangerous shit show. A man ran away from our building. That's how dangerous it is. He's homeless, living on the streets. He's safer. Our staff won't even go and tell those people to get away from our door anymore. They won't even have their staff door open anymore. They hide all day on their shift. And we're left with this on flu season? Now, may I interrupt you for a second? Yeah. Have you called Vancouver Police? Because this is. Oh, no, no. They tell me to phone you. They tell me to phone you. Can I talk to your boss, please? They told me to phone you. Sure. One moment. I mean, I literally had a freaking panic attack. Did they hang up on me? Better not have. Panic attack coming out of my building. Thank God there was a friendly face. Hello, James is on the line. Go ahead, please. Hi, James. This is Debbie. I live at 40 East Hastings. It's not acceptable not being able to have wheelchair access. There's no security on our block, and it is jammed with drug addicts selling their wares. No security, no wheelchair access. I had a panic attack leaving my building. Now, I got a small dog stroller, but we have people with big wheelchairs that are moving around. Oh, and I would never want to walk through the stabbing sidewalk because so many people got stabbed. I have a video people put together of all the violence I see out there. Having a YouTube channel would make it very dangerous for me to walk on your streets. Yeah, fair enough. So, what are you going to do so we can get out of our building, build a ramp so we can come right off and go on to the street? Because we don't walk on the sidewalk. You know we walk with the traffic, right? Oh. None, of your, none of the people that work at City Hall are my neighbors, okay? So, that's a lie you have when you're representing, you're misrepresenting that there are neighbors. None of you guys are our neighbors. We all qualify for euthanization. And now, and oh, euthanization kills far more than overdoses. We live in a neighborhood where we qualify for euthanization and maybe next year, most Canadians will. Can you please fix our neighborhood? Yeah, I can definitely submit a complaint feedback to the department. Pardon me? Our board and submit a complaint feedback. To the yeah, yeah. And why are you keeping us in danger? You know, why are these stupid Canadians believing everything in the flu? They should come down here. They should look at all my videos. There was no self-distancing. None. You know, why can't we self-distance? You know, we got to be able to protect. I'm 61 years old and I don't even get to self-distance. It's bad enough we're forced to inhale fentanyl, deadly fentanyl at the doorway. Are you guys moving the tents back in? Complaint number two, there's tents all over. Now where is science? Doesn't science know that our streets as a toilet makes us sick? I have to take medication to inhale their urine fumes. Three years of being really sick because science didn't know what was wrong with me. It turned out I have a little stomach defect and I can't even inhale the urine without having taken medication every day. Oh, and if I miss a day, I can tell. 
We suffer down here. I don't understand why you guys don't D-E-W-S like Hawaii, you know? Because I'll be happy to be a sacrifice and never build a ship show like this again. Because obviously you guys are not fixing it. You made it way worse during a pandemic. We don't get to have six feet. No, I got to listen to all the propaganda coming out. Could you please? So this issue is just right in front of 40 East Hastings. It's right? the whole block. The whole block. Yeah. We don't use your tunnel. That's an outdoor toilet. It just smells like urine. So we are st a lot of most people. We go on the street. And down here, if you get a death threat, and which I have on my YouTube from a Vancouver police, we're supposed to phone you guys three one one. So yeah. And the police wonder why I won't say when I see guns and who has guns. Hell no. I think we all should be able to have guns down here. Because I see enough guns down underneath my window. And then plus the Vancouver police, they have guns. So, yeah, I'm not good. As a YouTuber, I am 100% not safe to walk down the street on this side. I, I'm safe on the other side. Because there's not a whole bunch of people crammed on one block. Yeah. My dog's many not even safe. There are? Pardon me? There's probably... How many people would you say there are? About 400 people on our block. Just on that one side of the street? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. At least 300. The whole street's packed. And that's another they're complaint. No, they're not walking. They're doing drugs. They're selling stuff. Yeah. And you got to yeah, be careful when you tell them to move because some of them can be really ignorant. I got robbed that way. Telling someone to move. Got robbed of my Samsung S21 5G. $2,000. My gold necklace. Which a lot of Canadians don't know, but people die from the regular flu, like my mom. You're right. Yeah, the, the flu can be very dangerous as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and submit this case. Was there anything else I can help? Yeah, with? can you give me a copy at my Deb period Resner at gmail dot com email? Yes, I will go ahead and do that as well. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. No and oh yeah I'm also talking for the wheelchair people because they've already came to me and have complained and they asked me to phone you Sounds fair. thank you bye thank you for calling you too bye bye